Keegan now, Jacobs swings it into the box, good ball in, you have to say it's a goal! Well, tremendous delivery, you have to say. Keegan Jacobs with an absolutely superb curling delivery, time and space to do so, and the run between the Falkirk centre halves, well, not what we like to see, but the run was timed to perfection. Spared. Gallagher gets there first though. Goes round Cooper and is allowed to cross it in. Jacobs lays off to Pittman. Pittman now. Well, I tell you what, Danny Mullen, only a foot away. Pittman back to Talbot. Well, you have to say, Fordyce, not sure what he's doing there. A whistle clearly gone. Now he puts the old hands out saying, not me, ref, but I think everyone on the ground knows he knew exactly what he was doing. Whistle gone and decided to have a, a shot at Jimmy McDonald regardless. So Volks plays this with the Sibbald. Oh, great control by Sibbald. That's a stonewall penalty. Absolute stonewall, Craig Sibbald. Legs taken clean from under him there. So it's going to be Baird against Jameson. Whistle's blown. Up steps Baird. And lashes at home. Goes low. Right under the goalkeeper. Jameson frustrated. Of course the gap under the keeper's body. Always the last one to close. Clinical finish from John Baird. Falkirk out of nowhere. Back on level terms. Swung into the Bears box, flicked on, ball mull into the back post, cross goal and tell you what, inches wide there. Definitely off for the Bairns. Well, Kyle Jacobs has a fresh air swipe as the Bairns play the long ball looking for Baird but Cole gets there first. Plays his keeper but Baird now goes round the goalkeeper, open goal and hits the post! Well, John Baird, not happy with himself, looks down at the turf. Trots across to take the long throw in. Now, he's still walking further and further forward. Stolen at least five or six yards there. Throws the ball into the Falkirk six-yarder, flicked on, and it's in the net! Well, the flick on by Gallagher, then finds Mullen. One head flick and then a second. Falkirk absolutely furious, the fact that Hippolyte was allowed to walk five, if not six yards forward. The referee, I have to say, he's let that one go all game. Not clamped down on it at all. And the linesman now checks with, uh, the referee checks with one linesman, then the other. Seems this will be it. And there is the final whistle. Well, time wasting like you haven't. You wouldn't believe tonight from Livingston, but ultimately it is the men in yellow who unfortunately take the three points this evening. We now need to hope from a Bears perspective that Rangers do us a favour in their game against Queen of the South tomorrow. That would certainly keep the playoff hopes alive, but make no mistake, a bitter blow to Falkirk's playoff hopes tonight. But if, if Rangers can win tomorrow, tell you what, Palmerston would suddenly be an absolutely massive game. It's not been a pretty game tonight, let's be brutally honest about it. Falkirk offered, well, very little in the final third. John Baird with the two chances of the night for Falkirk. The penalty, which was dispatched clinically to his credit, but the, the other opportunity around the goalkeeper, and of course from six yards, unfortunately, could only hit the post. Levy, well, you have to say they were very direct with the, the running of Keegan Jacobs and Danny Mullen, who scored out a good brace and, you know, some, some good touches from him, but ultimately a disappointing night for the Bears. So the final score here at Amonvale is Livingston 2, Falkirk 1.